Hello everyone, it's Gogs here today. We're back on some Call of Duty Vanguard, and today uh, I've got uh, another blueprint to showcase. Uh, the first ever heroic blueprint, I believe, in Call of Duty, unless they released one in like season six of Cold War after my data, uh, after I got hacked and all my fucking progress went. Still annoyed about that. Um, but the first ever heroic blueprint in the game, it's for the PPSH, and um, I've now got two kind of semi-reactive blueprints, that one on the top there, you can change the colour of it with the inspect animation, but this one down here is fully reactive, as in it reacts when you get kills, and it is super, super cool. Um, it, it's uh, got tracer fire as well, I do believe, and it's got ice dismemberment, so this is probably one of the coolest blueprints, honestly, in Call of Duty, it is so good. Um, I'm probably not going to spend any more money on this game because uh, I really want to send so, like save a lot of my save spending power for um, Modern Warfare because the, uh, I can really tell but the blueprints in that game are going to slap so hard. It's got a brand new engine. It's going to look gorgeous. Yeah, I, I'm I'm looking forward to that game uh, a lot. So I'm probably not going to spend any more money on Vanguard. Um, but uh, it is, uh, in my opinion, I mean, there's a lot of issues with this game, but the core gameplay is fun, and I will stand by that. I enjoy Vanguard, as it's a good game. There's a lot of issues surrounding it and all of that, but, um, and, you know, the general consensus is that it's, you know, on the lower end of the Call of Duty spectrum, but I honestly don't mind it that much. It's not the greatest Call of Duty game of all time, but I like it. it it's alright in my eyes. Um, and this blueprint especially is very cool. So we're going to get into a game with it and see what we can do. Uh, to be fair, having both these guns is pretty cool. So let's check out the tracer fire. Oh wow, that's sick. That's really cool. Ha! Okay, 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 right. Let's see what happens when you kill someone because it's got like icicle dismemberment or something. I did change the sight. Oh wow, that's really cool, bro. That blows them back in like an ice cloud or something. That's sick. Oh, I'm just very bad at the game. You know, I changed the sight on the gun. Um, wow, that is really cool. <laughs> bro, the end of my gun has got like, ice pouring out of it. That is sick. Um, I changed the sight on the gun because it had one of my least favorite sights in the game on it. It was the uh, like the 1.35 times. I, like, it was a 1.35 times rounded sight, um, I can't tell if that's an enemy or not, ah! um, yeah, no, I really don't like that sight, oh, this gun's amazing, jeez, this is ridiculous, that is, that is insane, um, it should have a weapon inspect as well, let's check it out, hang on, oh, wait, oh, shit, Oh, sick! Finally! We've got those really cool inspects from Cold War back. Oh, I didn't... Literally, I did not even realise that. On this, um... On this blueprint, that, that, like, that those inspects were back. I mean, I knew that this gun had, like, a different inspect. Can you go away? I knew that this gun had, like, a different inspect, because, like, you press that button, it changes colour. You know, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I didn't realise... Let's have a look at it again. This gun I have different inspects, so that's sick. I'm a fan of that, I'm a big fan of that. Okay, I'm actually... I'm gonna need to clutch back up, I was having a decent start to this game. Great aim there from me. Oh wow. I need to keep... I love how when I die, I mean obviously dying is never great in this game, but when I do die, it leaves behind like a cloud of ice. It's pretty sick actually, I like that. Oof. This is a pretty sweaty lobby. Oh. Oh, what? Get. Move from up there. Why are you sat there? Still not. It's been several years now. I still don't get why camping is fun. Oh, my days. Move. Contested from where? Where? Oh my god. I could not see at all where I was being contested from. Are you serious? Come on, come on, come on. Get the reload off. Ah! So many dogs. There's a bloody army coming at me. 
It's more like local informants. It's not even the highest kill streak in the game anymore because of the uh ball turret gunner. I just got surrounded. The fuck up in there? Enemy recon, spy in the skies. It's so fun using SMGs again. It's been so long since I've actually used an SMG, just because once I finish them for the atomic grind, I oh my god, uh, I completely stopped using them because um, I wanted to wait until I got atomic. Wow, really good camping skills, man. <laughs> really? Ah, actually, I don't. That's my fault. I should have just kept on shooting. Oh. Um. Yeah, once I got them for Atomic, I completely stopped using them. Completely, like, disregarded them, because I was, you know, grinding out for Atomic. I don't generally go back to guns, unless I have a good reason. After, like, if they get, like, a massive buff and they're crazy overpowered, I might use them for, like, a game or two. I, li I do like how they've changed the, uh... Like, you know how on most guns in this game, and it is kind of annoying, the, like, it barrel smokes an insane amount, like, after you finish shooting them. Like, let me just get the Whitley. Like, look. Okay, that's actually, a, I need to shoot this gun for five years to get the barrel smoke effect. Right, you see, like, that. Oh, it's kind of hard in this light. But it smokes a lot, like, on most of the guns. I don't know why it's not doing it here, exactly when I need it to. But, um... Uh, they've changed the effect to an ice, like, smoky kind of effect, which is really cool in my opinion. And the PPSH, I mean, I, I don't even think I got the PPSH gold or, or diamond. Um, I, I actually think I completely disregarded it uh, in terms of getting it to gold or whatever. So, not, so I probably, so I won't get atomic on it, obviously. And I know there's people behind me, but I don't want to fight them right now. Um, so I won't get it atomic or whatever, so having this as like a, uh, separate super cool camo, uh, is pretty nice. That's an angry mum with a katana. Yeah, okay. Oh, I know this isn't an assault rifle showcase, but, um, I did just want to use that gun so that I could... Really? Oh! I just went crazy. Okay, yeah, sure, I didn't want that kill anyway. Move! Enemy recon, spy in the sky. Ah! I should be dead, I should be dead. I don't know why I didn't use my assault rifle for that. And there's someone up there, of course there is. Because why wouldn't there be a camper? Like, There is actually a playlist that I want to try out. It's like literally called Campers Beware. Where if anyone camps at all, they get in, like if you stop moving at all, for not it's not for like a certain amount of time. Like if you don't move, you instantly get like highlighted on the map, super bright. People can see exactly where you are, and it's like literally campers. I don't know what the playlist is exactly called, but it's something like campers worst nightmare. It looks crazy. So yeah, this is a really sweaty lobby, for, and considering I'm going full sweat, it's not a very good game at all. Like, I've played really badly, considering I'm trying. Um, but... It was mainly just so I could see the blueprint in action, which is extremely cool. And, uh, like, and if you look at it from the start of the game, it's gone from, like, not really covered in ice to completely icy. Like, at the start, it was just a normal gun with some icicles on the barrel, but now it's, like, completely turned into an ice gun, which is super cool. It, the, I think the, um, for... Heroic like level weapons the shop is actually decently priced if you're going for like one character two legendary guns and a bunch of random filler like calling cards or whatever like in those blueprints it's not worth it. in those like um packs it's not worth it but like here i got uh two legendary guns an assault rifle and a sniper i got this heroic smg blueprint i got like a bunch of calling i got like two calling cards a charm and something else and i also got even more value because instead of just buying card points i got like the uh pack where it's the same price as 2.4k card points but you get like a legendary pack on top of it um and if it was just that legendary pack it wouldn't have been worth it but because it gives you 2.4k card points as well 
so I got that legendary pack, which is like probably worth like ten quid in my opinion. Um, but then I also got this pack, which is worth like way more. Like I'd I'd, I'd pay twenty quid for this, and I only paid like fifteen. So it's definitely worth it. Uh, in that pack, it was it was like um, the sixteen pound pack was the um, skull collector one. So I got okay. I can't actually view it. That's really annoying. But I got this operator skin and where is he this one yeah i got that operator skin and then like a bunch of other stuff um and it, yeah it's, it's really good honestly i'm very happy with it um i definitely pick it up if you have the disposable income and uh yeah it's definitely worth it very cool pack so thank you for watching and goodbye